Hi, Chuck. I just got you guys back here, and uh, I'm going to do a quick test for you to show you how it's going to work. You got uh, six individual die pieces for your circles. They're all numbered for each cavity, so they fit nice and inside the cavities here. Notice they're all numbered with a one, two, and a three. So each one of your cavities you can switch out. The center holes, the offset holes, and just the blank squares are going to be like this. So you won't have anything in there for your blanks. It's going to work out pretty nice for you, I think. I'm going to test it right here for you. I've got one of each. I've got the blank, I've got the offset, and I've got the center circle. I'm going to lay your material right on top of this. Where now you can get you'll be able to get two cuts out of this if your material is 12 inches. What you want to do is lay this right up against your blade on this side, on the top side there, and you should be able to slide this right in. Like that. See, there's your blank. There's your one with your offset hole. And here's the one with your center hole. Uh, putting, a, putting the center hole in there is just a matter of lining that up. And you can take your second piece, line it up on this side of your blade. sure it doesn't shift on you. Slide that back in. And it turns off very nicely. You have your second set. Your offset hole. And again, your center hole. I think it's going to work out really nice for you. And then when you want to change it, you can do all three center holes, all three offset holes, or you can take them all those, the whole blanks out and just use your solid pieces. I think it's going to, you're going to enjoy this. I'll send you this video over, Chuck. Thank you.